Welcome to the Primo Analytics introductory tutorial. To get to Primo Analytics, first we would log into the Primo back office. Today I'll be logging into our training server using my institution level login. Once I'm in the Primo back office, I would go to Primo Analytics under the Monitoring and Maintenance section. When I click on Primo Analytics, a new tab will open and I'm brought to the Oracle Business Intelligence Platform, or the OBI platform. OBI allows us to build, customize, and run reports on Primo activities. I'm first brought to the Catalog area of the OBI. This is where all reports are saved, including both the personal reports and the shared reports. Right now, the main part of the screen is blank, but if I look at the left-hand side of the screen, I can see the Folders pane. There are two folders. My Folders contains personal reports and dashboards once I've created them. Right now, it's empty. Shared Folders contains different reports and dashboards that are shared at various levels. When I select the folder, notice that we can now see the contents of that folder in the main part of the screen. The Primo folder contains subfolders that include out-of-the-box dashboards and reports. The contents of the Primo folder are automatically shared with all of the Primo users. Only Xlibris can create and edit reports here. The Primo Community folder contains reports and dashboards that are created and shared by fellow Primo customers. And finally, we have our Train Alma Institution folder. This folder will contain all of the reports and dashboards that are shared with other members of my institution. When I go to the home area, we'll see a centralized workspace. I can see recent activity, and I can also see most popular activity. On the left, I have an area where I can create analyses and other objects, and I can browse and manage my content. Under Getting Started, I can access help documentation pertaining to the Oracle Business Intelligence platform. The Favorites functionality allows you to bookmark catalog objects that you wish to view quickly later on. Under Dashboards, we can see shortcuts to all of the available dashboards that are saved in the dedicated Dashboard subfolders. Under New, we're presented with a list of OBI objects that can be created. Under Open, we can see the list of objects that we've recently viewed, created, or updated. And we can also see Most Popular Objects, the list of objects that are accessed the most. I can search the catalog from here, and I can select which type of object that I'm searching for in this dropdown. When I select Advanced, I'm brought back to the Catalog page in Search Mode, where I can search for objects in the catalog. Notice that the Search pane is displayed rather than the Folders pane over here on the left. If I wanted to go back to the Folders pane, I could click on the Folders button here. If I mouse over the Help link, I can see several options related to finding help information about the Oracle Business Intelligence platform. This documentation does not provide information about the Primo data that's being analyzed, but you will find helpful information about how to navigate and use the OBI platform. I can sign out of OBI by clicking on the Sign Out link. Just below that, you can see here that I'm signed in as myself, and if I click on my name, I can get to my account information. Here I can specify my preferences, such as my starting page, my location and time zone, my delivery preferences, and my delivery profile. Thank you for watching this introductory tutorial on Primo Analytics. To learn more, please watch the next tutorial, Primo Analytics Dashboards.